Hey everybody, welcome to the Cripes Cast. I am your host, Charlie Barron. This is the podcast where we talk to people for and or from the Midwest. Today we are talking to Trevor Wallace, who's a comedian. Uh, you may know him from his videos online. You may know him from his stand-up. Uh, very good guy. He's actually originally from the Midwest, or he was born here. He was born in Naperville, Illinois. Does that mean he's a Bears fan? Uh, unfortunately, yes, but that's okay. We got over that. We got past our differences. You can have this, too. Okay, oh. and so I know you are a Bears fan, uh, allegedly. There is a coffee stain on this. Piece of toilet paper. No, I'll take it. Okay, okay, we can't call it that. Trevor and I actually got together. He was in Appleton, so we got together and did a couple sketches. One of them is the worst uh, American Cornhole League ever. Forgot what we actually titled that. Anyway, we, we were playing, uh, I would call it Bags. Bags. Trevor called it. It's called Cornhole Milkman. Woo, corn Corn down hole like vodka Red Bull. This vodka is made from corn. It's a whiskey that's made of corn. Mom, please stay in the rental. We pay good money for AC. Love you. Complete it back. There it is. Also, we did a video for Trevor's channel where it was when somebody from the West Coast meets somebody from the Midwest. And uh, admittedly so, I came off a little bit like a serial killer. Those cicadas, I, it's, they're the sound of summer. You know, I love that. Can I ask you something? Yeah. How many dead bodies do you have? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I haven't seen a dead body since the last time the Packers played the Bears, if, if you know what I mean. You know, the Packers <laughs> killed them. <sighs> so, like, how many? Four. Thank you all for listening to the Cripes Cast, and here is my conversation with Trevor Wallace. If you were that honest stage in Wisconsin, you will not have to even talk. They will I, just applaud. I think every four minutes I'll just go... Aaron Rodgers, and they're like, this guy gets it. <laughs> the other guy, I don't know about him, but the this guy, guy with the, the hair, long hair, <laughs> yeah. linebacker, uh, Clay, oh, Matthews? Clay Matthews, yeah. I, well, yeah, he's gone, he's gone now. He's gone. But you know, he it, was a Packer. He was a is Packer. He, is he retired or is he on a different team? I think he went to another team. Now he's retired. Is oh, he in L.A. Yeah, L.A. You did it backwards, man. You know what's funny is I live in Los Angeles. <laughs> I could not name one of the Los Angeles. Now Chargers. you can. Now you can. I know Jared, uh, football, the coach, uh, not the coach, the QB, Jared Goff. Yeah. <laughs> drank a Corona with him one time. It was a really? Cool moment. Weird flex. Very. Weird I, I just flex. felt like I needed to throw something out there. I was like, I've been too humble. Final question. What's your recommendation to people? Clay Matthews. Perfect. Clay Matthews. <laughs> and that's the podcast. That's the Christ guest. What's your recommendation to people who want to do what you do? What would, what would you tell them oh, to do? Oh, man. I say patience. Yeah. Like it all will lay out and it'll make sense when you look back on it. You want patience because you don't, if you think about it, you want to build a career and then have people get eyes on it. You know, it's like mm. you don't, it's like with music, you don't want your first song to go viral because there's nothing to latch on to. And of course, if you do go viral your first song, then you figure out how to make it work. But like, let's say I just found out about you and then I go back and you got two years banked of videos. I'm going to binge the shit out of that. Mm -hmm. And then you, you become like a diehard fan of essentially. So it's like patience and, there's something cool to be said about somebody who's been in the, the like been working at it for a couple of years. You have a little bit more respect because you might scroll to the bottom and be like, damn, Charlie's been making videos since like 2015. Like, like he deserves a follow. He's consistent. That's the biggest thing is letting people know, like, I'm consistent. I put out my work. This is who I am. And yeah, I'm kind of just going from there. I also think that struggle of getting to the top just makes you more resilient. Because when you probably know this, you've been doing well, well, and then a few videos just flop, 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 flop. And oh, that's when you need that, that, not that grit. Good. That's yeah. when I go. When a couple of videos don't do well, it's mainly because... I tried a risk and I tried to make a video that's a little bit outside of my wheelhouse. And then when those don't hit, I'll be like, well, it's time for another one liner video. <laughs> <laughs> but I love the one liner videos, but there's something more cinematic to me that's like creating a sketch and like a world. I like that, but those don't tend to go as viral as much for me. Mm -hmm. But I like making the one liner videos. I just feel like I've done so many that it's like, what else can I do? Right. But it's the same thing when an artist puts out an album that's like very different and people are like, what is this? Right. And then they're like, I'm kidding. Here's a here's a song you guys love, and the club banger just starts again. So right, right. It's all checks and balances, essentially. I don't know if that applies here, but we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it. So roll out the barrel and get the band brewing. Life's got you down. Just keep her moving. 